that's kind of my first reaction when I'm adding images or vector vector files in in InDesign. It's why is blurry. That was my first reaction. And um, what's going on? You know. So there is a solution for this. It's not a solution. It's just a way of InDesign dealing with less stress let's put it that way so if you go here in view uh, and here we have uh, display performance and it's set to typical display you can set to fast display which this will help to speed up your computer your machine if you have a computer that's not really powerful it's not really it doesn't have that many uh, gigabytes that much ram that's my that much RAM in that situation. If you set to fast display, you won't even see the vector, the image. If you want to m use multiple images and it's uh, laggy, but if your intention is to see the image uh, at the highest quality possible, is to set this to high quality display. Which now, if you look at this, it looks really, really good, and that's. This applies for images, vectors, and anything pretty much. But every time you open uh, InDesign, you have to set this, I believe so. But you can go to Preferences, and here in, in General, uh, we have here the option to display performance. Make sure this is set to high quality, high quality, and then you don't have any problems to reset to change the setting every single time you open in design now I'm also going to show you in this video how to change a video sorry an image from white to from color to black and white so let's go here in file click on export and uh, to place and here in place I'm just gonna select the colored image now I have here an image now Let's select the fill and here we're gonna have to go to we can also arrange this and go to essentials and uh, here you can uh, double click to select the frame and here in opacity a normal let's select luminosity now let's unselect this and now we click one time only to select the image because if you double click now you're selecting the image and we will only want to select the frame. Now let's go to fill and here let's select paper. Now this image is black and white. That's how you do it. Also, remember the shortcut place, Control plus D, can be very helpful to increase productivity in Illustrator. Let's go here to View and Fill Page in Window. Now we can also right click, go to Effects, and add Drop to to add Drop Shadow to our image. From here now, we can change the blend from multiply to normal. We can increase or decrease the opacity. And of course, we can also increase the size. We can highlight and use the arrows up and down. We can also spread. It's not going to increase the quality of the image, which is just going to add some shadow around the image. Now, of course, you can right click here and add multiple effects, but that's not going to affect the quality of the image. You're just adding some effects. You can also edit with, and then you're editing with Adobe Photoshop in InDesign. If you want to add some, make some changes, just edit the photo overall. Um, here, you also have other options for related to quality as I showed you before now the quality looks pixelated but at the end it will look just fine
And for those that don't know in InDesign to select an image, we can double click and now we move the image within the frame. We can resize the image, we can stretch the image, that's within the frame. But if you only want to move, now just click outside. Now just click one time and you are moving the frame and also the image at the same time. You can also go to view here and here you have extra and here you have content grabber. You can see the content grabber usually is in the middle. And you can click on that. But for me it's easier if I just double click and now I can move the image within the frame and um, you also have here we have in uh, uh, we have object and here in object we have fitting and we can click on fill content proportionally now it's going to fill the entire image proportionally or we can also filling and fill frame pr proportionally object filling fill content proportionally this can save you time for doing some of the work yourself